Boom. What's up, everybody? I'm Luke Kite, all the way from Santa Barbara, California. That's right. I'm all the way out here this weekend for the Santa Cruz Maniacs Big Ride. And today, I am with Rex Stevens from Santa Barbara Cruisers. He does custom bikes, customization of bike parts. Yeah. And he was uh, nice enough to extend an invitation to me to come out and talk to him. But before I ask him the first question, I want to say thank you to all of the followers everyone out there that's hitting that like button keep hitting that like button we're going to spread bicycle awareness one person at a time and follow because it makes you feel good mm. okay so with that said rex tell us a little bit about who you are where you're from and how you ended up here in in santa barbara yeah that's a lot of info man <laughs> uh so yeah i came to santa barbara in 1983 uh, from Northern California, I uh, worked as a, uh, a, a laborer, construction laborer, where I eventually made my way up to uh, being a framer, then into a shop, and then a cabinet maker, and then I had my own shop, making cabinets and furniture for probably 20 years or so. Um, the whole time I was uh, in, had a professional racing career, both, both BMX and downhill bikes, in the early early days of downhill i'm um, talking you know the early 90s the glory days of downhill and uh worked in a couple bike shops uh I'd always been a builder my whole life and uh, i was following a niche market uh, <clears throat> which is the uh what, what we refer to as the three bar loop tail and uh you know i thought there was room for uh, one of those bikes in the market and uh when we had our economic crash 2006 2007 in that way i switched over from making uh, furniture to uh, making bikes i had some welding experience but not 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 at the not at the level it is right now um so yeah just over the years i, I uh, uh slowed slowly ha started honing my skills and uh putting together a program um, where i could make the bikes um in a production way just like i did with the furniture not just one at a time but it's uh it's about making the jigs and it's about making templates um, which my original templates were made out of wood because i was a furniture maker at the time which we'll look at them here in just a little bit um, but then i slowly became a metallurgist and uh, you know a, a bicycle fabricator much to my surprise i stopped racing and when i was 42 years old and really focused on making the bikes and uh, bringing a high quality product to a market that pretty much wasn't touched up till about maybe a little less than 10 years ago or so um so it's been great to watch the market grow and uh learn about this uh, 26 inch beach cruiser glorified beach cruiser and uh the, the market that brings with it and the fascinating 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 people that um i get to meet th through this industry um so i've pretty much been in the bicycle scene for decades you know so I currently ride a Gary Fisher, and, and my understanding is he had a lot to do with downhill and the modifications that were made on bikes. Speaking of modifications, now when you say you build a bike, do you take an existing frame and customize it, or are you talking about you just take the pipes and you start putting them together? Right, so um, both, actually. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll correct you, it's not pipe it's tube it's, thank you yeah it's one thing i learned very early on and so you say pipe to somebody and they want nothing to do with your bikes uh yeah and, and it's tubing it's inside dimension outside dimension it's all trigonometry uh i hated math growing up but now my whole life is math so behind you what we have is that i have just lengths lengths of tube up there with various sizes and various wall thicknesses and various materials we start off with a straight piece of tube we cut that tube to length and then we bend that tube or, or we manipulate that tube into the shape that we want it to be. It then gets go, goes through a notching process. It gets fit into the jig where it's get tacked in the jig, pulled out, and then it gets welded here on the table. So complete hands-on approach. Um, I touch every tube. I make every bend myself. Um, I have a helper that helps me every once in a while, but for the most part, it's a one-man shop. Um, and as far as the modifications, yes, we'll take other frames and modify, put brakes on them, put different tubes in them, strengthen them, make them prettier, you know, whatever the customer customer may want. So 
I assume because biking, um, you have to fit the bike to the person. I assume that your bikes are custom built to a customer. So someone comes to you and says, hey, I'm this tall and I want this bike. And that's where it starts. Yeah, for the most part, and it's all about the fit. If your bike doesn't fit right, you're not going to have a fun time. And why would you even be on a bike if you're not having a fun time? That's first and foremost about being on a bike is having a fun time, followed by safety, of course. Um, but yeah, we start off with the fit, how tall they are, um, what their purpose is of the bike, um, what they may be doing with the bike. Um, are they commuting? Are they jumping? Are they mountain biking? Are they just cruising the beach? It all starts from there. And then we pick materials and uh, we try to get them the best riding bike that they possibly can. So you mentioned that you have a Facebook and a website. What are those so that people can find you and uh, learn more? Yeah, so my Facebook is just Santa Barbara Cruisers uh, Facebook page and also uh, SantaBarbaraCruisers.com. I have a, uh, a page there where you can go look at products, um, specialty bikes that I've made in the past, um, and uh, hopefully soon we will update that page. Now, before I grab the camera and we take a look around your shop, mm -hmm. is there a message that you want to send out to people that are watching in Houston and California and all over? Yeah, I actually have a couple messages. Uh, first message is, uh, for me, the end game is going to be uh, vocational training. So I would hope that everybody out there who is in the bike scene, fabrication scene, building scene, whatever you're building with, with you would you would you, you would keep a youngster in mind to, to to open up his mind about anybody can build anything so that's my biggest message vocational training so I, I want to push that but the other message is having fun on the bike is the most important thing I'm 56 years old and I just burned out 70 miles on Sunday not a problem 60 miles the week before single day that is <laughs> and um, if, if you got a bike Get out there and ride your bike. Get the bike you want, not the bike that you see that is cool that everybody else has. Get, get Individualize your bike and make it your own because that's when you're gonna shine on your bike the best. Any tips for me if I take a ride around Santa Barbara today? Yeah, just keep your eyes open. I mean, you may run into John Burke, the owner of Trek. He lives here. Oh, awesome. You may run into Tom Ritchie. He lives here. Didn't know. You know, Chris King is from here. Every once in a while we see Chris King in town again. So yeah, just keep your eyes open. Incredible scenery in Santa Barbara. It's kind of hard to see anything else when you're just surrounded by incredible scenery. The mountains, the ocean, the people, the beach. Um, but there's a lot, I mean, a lot of bicycle history here in Santa Barbara and if you know what you're looking out for you may see a little bit of that history riding around town. In, in terms of safety how do you feel about the motorist here respecting riders and are there any rules in, in, in Houston you can take up an entire lane if you want to. Uh, what are the rules here? Are they different from that? Um, Three feet from for a car? Yeah it pretty much runs parallel. I, I, I'm I'm always advocating safety, um, not just for the cyclists to be safety, safe, but the motorists to be safe, the motorcycles to be safe. Don't be in such a big hurry to get everywhere, even on your bike. If everybody just respects everybody just a little bit, it, it'll be fine. But uh, it, it, it is about the safety, being aware. You can't always go 100 miles an hour, um, even though we all, we all want to go 100 miles an hour. Um, just, just, just be safe and aware of your surrounding. That's what's going to keep you. Um, that's what's going to keep you alive. And be a follower. Do not be. Uh, be a leader. Do not be a follower. Um, because uh, you know it's all about being the leader and and encouraging that next generation. So this is my first time in Santa Barbara. Are there bike lanes here? There are bike lanes. Um, uh, BC Central. Uh, Coast, SB Bike, um, they've been working hard advocating for bike lanes here in Santa Barbara and we're so uh, grateful uh, to have the staff that works directly with the city and, and you know, bring us bike lanes right down the middle of the road, uh, which, is, uh, which is great. And again, we're just working on the safety issue of it. 
Any other shout outs or recognition you want to give to anyone, any of the street riders or crews that are out there that you might know of? Yeah, all of them, you know? A uh, big shout out to the Goodland guys, the 805 Chromies, the Legends, the SC Familia. There's a bunch of groups in town that have do been doing the bike rides and uh, creating a place and a space for people to go and ride their bikes and have fun and talk bikes. So all those guys, big shout out to them. Great. I got some stickers for you. Um, here's one and I have a different one of a different style probably in my bag that I'll give you in just a minute. If you hold this, I'm gonna grab the camera and you can show me some of the stuff. And sure. Just keep that about four inches from yep. me. Yeah, yeah, we can start off with these. These are a product, one of my pr first products that I started making, um, let's see, how many, how many years ago? Probably uh, 13 years ago, we, we, we made our first version of these and they've been uh, modified and changed over the year. This is now our fourth generation of them. And um, we work with a local machinist who's actually just right down the street, which is convenient. I pop over there on my bike when products are ready. So these are the 805, the Santa Barbara Cruisers and the new BMX stems uh, that we've just made. And um, yeah, it's all American aluminum and uh, it's all made right here and has uh, stainless steel hardware. I saw you working on this bike out here. Yeah, this is just a, uh, a 70s Schwinn that somebody wanted cantilever brakes on. It came in yesterday. I tried to get it out the door real quick because obviously he's going to need to repaint it again. So we probably do uh, half a dozen of these a month. What else do you want to show? Uh, yeah, this is, this is just our small machine shop over here. Everything is manual. It's not run by a computer. Um, I turn every knob. I, I change every chuck. I put every drill bit in myself. And uh, it's, it, it, it's, again, this early kind of vocational training that I got in junior high, which allows me to continuously do this. And uh, we are going to be teaching a... a uh, frame building class here pretty soon so we'll keep you all informed about that this is uh, the mechanics room basically everything that you see here on the floor is just like the bike we looked at in the stand they're getting modified one way or another whether it's uh, to reinforce it put some v-brakes on it or like this bike that's in the very front we cut the whole rear end off of it and we put a loop tail on it so we take something from the 50s and we kind of bring it up to modern this is a frame i made 10 years ago or so that sat in the loft until somebody came by and they just absolutely needed to have it so we're working on that um the red white and blue bike in the back over there that's actually my uh my Richie tribute frame, so it's got some uh, old Richie parts on it. So there's a little shout out to Mr. Richie himself. Um, this is all the part tools, which you absolutely need. I don't know about all that over there. But <laughs> um, this is a frame that we did. I know it looks like a quad angle, um, but it's my version of a quad angle, a STR. Um, so this is just a little room that I've created. Um, just to share with people who are bike crazy like myself and uh, these are magazines and pictures and stickers and uh, that is my fireman radio I'm a volunteer fireman up in Painted Cave so I keep that on um, this is actually uh, out, of, out of a store in Goleta it's an original decal from the 80s that my buddy gifted to me this is a uh, this over here is a little bit of history of uh, a bike ride that's called the Cruiser Run. And the 41st annual Cruiser Run just happened two Sundays ago. Um, and this, this is just archive pictures of all the different Cruiser Runs. If you, if you look up, up top there, uh, 1992, um, this, this uh, was one of the Cruiser uh, Run um, Flyers, so that's how we would advertise the bike runs is we'd make flyers like that and we'd go post them all over uh, the telephone poles all over town. 
and you can see that one still has staples in the corner so that's one of the original ones our friend chewy reyes uh, he drew that one and then if we jump forward uh, to this other one this is one i made the 22nd annual cruiser ride so this was 19 years ago so i was able to keep one of those again we uh, um, post those up on the telephone poles and then all these pictures here are the cruiser ride throughout the years um, and the the black and white ones are, are early BMX uh, photos from uh, Southern California tracks um, uh, here in California and uh, uh, the cruiser ride has had as many as 4,400 people in the ride that was uh, 2013 that was our biggest ride this year we had 1,100 people so we have a pretty big ride you know, 40, 41 years this ride's been going on uh, I've been fortunate enough to do the last 36 so I'm definitely not one of the old timers but I can show you who the old timers are and that's these cats right here all right so this is a great photo this is taken by my buddy Greg Tunnell and it was taken in front of the Arlington Theater uh, shooting across a little restaurant called Carlitos where the Union gas station is, and we can see the gas is $1.37. So that basically tells you exactly what year that is, 1983. And um, this was probably uh, the second or third cruiser ride. And so uh, if we go across from right to left, uh, this cat's name here is uh, um, uh, uh, Raleigh, and then there's Bill Carson. There's Richie Sandoval. Richie, Richie is uh, still riding that bike right there. Um, there's uh, Chili right there. Sergio, he's still in town. Uh, there's Dale, don't know his last name. Joe Ramirez right there. Uh, that's Bobby Yarts, and this cat's name is Dale too. Now I've been fortunate enough that Joe's come over to my shop and signed this poster. This is a pretty iconic wheelie poster here. This is one of the uh, Cruiser Run t-shirts from 2017. I'm gifting this to Luke. Um, which started off as one sponsor from the community supporting the King of the Cruiser show that the Santa Barbara Cruisers would host. It turned into this many sponsors. All these sponsors are local businesses here in Santa Barbara, and they not only believe in the power of bicycles, but they believe in the power of supporting their neighbors. So I just want to give a shout out to all these sponsors who, who have supported